Okay, if we want to know how far the car traveled during those eight seconds, what we have to do is integrate the velocity function. So remember, velocity is this guy right here. Uh, let me get my ink going. Is this guy right here, five plus all this, which actually turns out to be 1.2 t squared plus five. That's my velocity. How do I know? Because I integrated the acceleration and that's what I got, okay? Um, and you know, 2.4 divided by two is 1.2 t squared plus the five. We have to have that because we had an initial velocity anyway, okay? So how can I find my position then? Well, position is just gonna be the integral of the velocity, which is gonna be 1.2 t squared plus five t dt, which is gonna end up being 1.2 t cubed over three plus, uh, and that shouldn't be 5t, that should just be 5. I got all excited here. The t is actually going to be right there. And we're going to evaluate this over those first 8 seconds. So that's going to be evaluated from 0 to 8. Um, you can punch it into your calculator if you want to, to double check yourself and see what you get. Uh, but you should truck along somewhere around um, 244 point eight, um, let's see, miles per hour by seconds. Okay, and why? Because we're looking at eight seconds for the for the actual time part. So that's included now when we integrate. So we just have to figure out how to get rid of the miles per hour part and the seconds part. We've got to eliminate those guys. And so to do that, we're gonna use our conversion factor. How many seconds in an hour? Okay, how many seconds in an hour? 3,600, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this 244.8 And we're going to multiply it with unit conversion here with 3600. And the seconds then will cancel out. And then that, that takes care of the hours. And it should just leave us then with just miles. Um, so when you do that, you get a final answer of 0 0.068. The cool thing, um, and that's a, a mile, so we got to have units here. The cool thing with all of this is you can put it into your calc you can put this into your calculator and get an answer. You can put this into your calculator and get an answer. You can put this into your calculator and get an answer, but keep up with your units. Um, if we're talking about eight seconds while we're integrating, then we're gonna have seconds as part of our solution. So we're gonna have to lose those, and that's gonna take a little bit of practice to get used to, okay?